Recently, Greg Abbott had a sit down interview with Martha Raddatz for ABC. And during that interview, Martha Raddatz said something that has gotten her in a little bit of trouble with conservatives. She claimed that Joe Biden had never claimed to have an open border policy. In fact, let's take a look at that moment right now. I don't think I've ever heard President Biden say, we have an open border, come on over. But people I have heard say it are you, our former President Trump, or Ron DeSantis. That message reverberates in Mexico and beyond. So Martha Raddatz got a lot of backlash from conservatives over that statement because conservatives believe that Biden did in fact say that he has an open border policy. I wanted to do a little digging, right? I didn't want to take Martha Raddatz and what she said at face value, just figure out whether or not there's some truth behind Biden allegedly calling for an open border policy. And what they cite is his statements on the debate stage back in 2019. So I'm gonna show you those statements and then we'll discuss, let's watch. Those who come seeking asylum, we should immediately have the capacity to absorb them, keep them safe until they can be heard. A 15 second, if you could, if you wish to answer, should someone who is here without documents, and that is his only offense, should that person be deported? That person should not be the focus of deportation. We should fundamentally change the way we deal with them. I would, in fact, make sure that there is, we immediately surge to the border. All those people are seeking asylum. They deserve to be heard. That's who we are. We're a nation that says if you want to flee and you're fleeing oppression, you should come. So those are the statements that they keep citing. And it's nuanced, but it is different from an open border policy. We have laws in place pertaining to asylum seekers at the border. When someone seeks asylum at the border, they are supposed to have their day before a judge who determines whether or not their asylum claims are legitimate. So again, that is very different from we have no border. We have yeah. no border, everyone come in. Yeah, so I'm gonna be fair and unfair to the right wing here. So look, in the middle there, he appears to misspeak and say, when the press on someone has come in here without papers. And again, it's a, even an open to interpretation on whether he's misspeaking or he's referring to asylum seekers. If he's referring to just asylum speaker, seekers, then he's not saying anything wrong. He's saying the stated American policy of every president, right? Um, and our laws. But let's say that he misspeaks and he's not referring to just asylum seekers, but everyone who came here without papers. Well, is that his official policy? No, he's been president for two years. That is not his policy, nor is that the law. So any discuss, like, oh, we found a gap, maybe a 10 second gap in the middle of every other answer that is consistent. And that gap has not been executed into policy at all, but we're going to pretend that it's real and hence that we don't have any borders anymore and anyone can cross at any time. Well, if that was true, why are they all in Mexico? Why did, why is this title 42 exist? Why aren't they already inside the country? The idea that we don't have a border and then anybody can come in because Biden changed that policy. It's not a little wrong, it's, it's a purposeful lie. I get it that some right wing voters maybe saw that clip or saw a right wing pundit lie about it and they genuinely believe that. I bet that's true for tons of people. Yeah, right? it is definitely. But for the right wing media and the right wing politicians, they're 100% Lying on purpose. They, they are lying on purpose for political reasons, right? Yeah. They believe that it is politically advantageous to make it appear as though the Biden administration has an open border policy. Anyone who wants to come in can come in, it's completely unchecked. Obviously, that's not true, okay? But on the other hand, I think what Martha Raddatz said there, I don't want it to be lost on anyone because I actually think that was a good point. So Biden had made those statements on a debate stage. And I couldn't even remember that he made those statements, right? They were pretty forgettable because of the fact that, yeah, we do have asylum laws and we have to follow those asylum laws. If you don't like it, well, Congress needs to change it, okay? So that's number one. But number two, with Republican lawmakers constantly repeating over and over and over again that Biden has an open border policy, what do you think migrants are gonna hear? They're gonna hear, oh, well, I guess there's an open border policy. Let's go to the border. Yeah, that's so true. And that's one, it's a great point by Raditz. And two, your clarification of it makes it even clearer. 
if there is an issue of too many immigrants coming in, it's almost certainly because they heard in the media that there was no border anymore, that they could just walk in. But we all know they can't walk in. So the right wing media not only lied to us to try to trick right wingers and centrists, etc., but they lied to the rest of the world, thereby leading them to do this incredibly dangerous trek on a false promise that they could just walk across the border when they clearly can't. But maybe that was the plan all along because that allows for them to play footage of thousands of migrants at the border over and over again on a loop and blame it on Biden. Yeah, no, look, if that's actually what they intended, again, being fair, because we're the fairest show in America, that's kind of politically genius. I mean, it's a loathsome thing to do and it's a lie on purpose and its aim is to deceive you. But that is four dimensional chess. If they lied on purpose to get it into Latin American media <laughs> to drive up immigration and they go, can you believe that immigration is on the rise? It's all Biden's fault. But by the way, even though it was a great question by Raditz, I will say one more follow up is so necessary by her or anyone else because she's She's one, the rest of the reporters on this issue are zero combined, right? So we're looking at it from a World Cup point of view, it's one nothing at this point on the pitch. Um, so why don't you just ask Republicans that say there's an open border policy? So can anyone walk into the country? If they can't, why can't they? Because you say there's an open border. So are you lying or is it proverbial, is it symbolic? What do you mean an open border? Because they have to admit no one can walk right in or show me someone just walking right in and 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 border patrol lets them the Biden administration right. lets them because there's an open border policy is it true oh okay so you're all lying on purpose that's a hell of a thing and you know as the lies continue we still deal with absolutely no solutions and complete inaction from congress and it's infuriating so everyone should be angry and furious regardless of where you stand on the immigration issue with congress and their incompetence and impotence that's that's all i could think about when it comes to this story thanks for watching the young turks really appreciate it another way to show support is through youtube memberships you'll get to interact with us more there's live chat emojis badges You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.